How you doing guys? Welcome back, it's LSP, currently the 23rd of December 2021. Before I get into the analysis today on rheumatic, please remember everything I discussed today is for educational purposes only and it is not financial advice. So just a quick update before I get into the analysis itself. Um, if you go to the rheumatic website, they've actually integrated flus, which means that you can buy uh, through the website now uh, directly through flus and you are able to use... Um, uh, a debit card, credit card, uh, you can basically buy Binance um, using MoonPay, I believe, and there's another one. Uh, but go and check it out. It makes it a, a lot easier to buy flus. Uh, sorry, to buy uh, rheumatic through flus. And that's integrated into the website, so it's a nice little update. And again, I just want to quickly remind everybody, you know, it's um, it's refreshing when a, a, a company or a project, they say, we're going to deliver this, and they deliver it. And I know a lot of projects do, but some of them don't. So, you know, when you come across the ones that do, it's nice, you know, when things are delivered on time. Um, and in some cases, you know, a little bit before that as well. So it's, uh, it's, it's nice to see. So regarding um, where we were, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just guide you through the, the, the process of where price was, you know, where it started, where it ended up in terms of all time high. And then obviously it's kind of run back up to all time high. Generally, what tends to happen when you see these, you know, initial listings, um, you know, you get a really nice move to the upside, you know, you get early profit takers, you know, sometimes they, they take profit and then they buy back in, sometimes they just take profit and move on. But either way, you can see that they take profit, okay? And what I like about the way Rheumatic is moving in terms of price delivery, it's not specific to Rheumatic, it's just the way price is, you know, that gives you a good indication you're probably going to get, you know, um, continued move to the upside, once this initial profit taking was done, you see price comes back up and it comes back up into this, all right? So the initial break, as it impulses to the upside here and you get this small pause, all right? And then it impulses again. When it comes back through that impulse um, here, you can see that it spends some time there, okay? Now, I'm mentioning this for future videos, okay? So just be mindful of this. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to know what it is. Just, I, I like to put things in. So when I revisit them, it feels familiar to you. It feels like you've seen it before, you know, uh, and it's just easier to understand. So spends a little bit of time here, okay? And we'll make it a slightly different color just to distinguish, you know, um, that from something else that we're seeing on the charts. And then it grinds lower, grinds lower, grinds lower. And you can see that price came up. We did discuss this previously, but since going through that liquidity pool now, we can take this off, that's finished price goes up again into this range okay and you can see it responds a little just there right then it goes up and it spends eh, not a great deal of time goes through it we take this off all right and then we had these upper levels that i was speaking about in the previous video um and those levels have been traded to you know and and quite comfortably as well but i like the way that price is <coughs> excuse me i like the way that price is controlled I like the way that price, you know, is efficiently traded. It's not crazy. It's not out of whack. And even this initial impulse to the upside as it starts to, because this isn't a, a breakout. When you hear the word breakout, you assume something like this. It's a breakdown. It's a breakout, you know, big, strong candles. We're not seeing that. We're seeing a nice, steady flow of, inf well, a nice, steady influx of orders, nice, steady flow. Just starts to get a little bit ahead of itself there, which is, Again, above these highs, which is um, obvious, you know, in terms of that, this candle here, as it just starts to accelerate slightly, it makes sense that it's doing it in an area where we know there's no liquidity. And then it slowly uh, starts to slow down again. Then it gets a little bit, a little bit of sideways. Last little pop just there above this high. And then we get this nice strong candle to the upside. Now, I was saying in the Telegram group, Rheumatic Telegram group, you know, that the worst thing that can happen you know, for me anyway, uh, and it's it's not something that we can control, obviously, it's something that we just have to wait and see if it happens. But for me, the worst thing that can happen is that price, you know, runs and then it gets extended, then extended, and it goes through all time high with a big, strong green candle, because it's probably going to capitulate like this. And then we get, you know, a, an immediate sell off. Okay, it's better that price grinds up there nice, slow, you know, steady, you know, nice influx of orders, 
and then obviously when the next vesting period comes as well you know um and uh, the early investors they take their their next 10 percent you know um even if they were to sell those which is very unlikely at this point but even if they were it's not going to affect price too much and then that continues to grind and grind and grind because then when we get to all-time high when that happens that way or when it happens that way it's much more likely to get a little bit of a sell-off okay Okay, so there's your all time. I'll put that there now. You know, it's very, uh, it's, it's more likely, you know, that price goes up there in that way, gets a little bit of a sell off, maintains the area, and then it starts to create that next range to the upside, which is what we want. We don't want price running crazy, going vertical, capitulating, and then coming all the way back down to say, you know, 80 or 70, because then it just creates this and it, it just means that it takes a lot longer to work that, you know, that, that, um, that move off and it's, you know, you get a lot of this sideways, 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 a little bit of a bleed, bleed, sideways, sideways. And then, you know, we get the next leg uh, and this takes time. Now there's nothing wrong with that, obviously, but sometimes, you know, we prefer to see, um, you know, uh, price efficiently trading in a way that is conducive to a longer drawn out move that is steadily increasing to the upside as, as opposed to an explosive move to the upside, a sell off, a load of sideways slop, then another explosive move to the upside. Um, because again, that creates a little bit of division when it comes to investors, you know, and how they're looking at the markets. And obviously, you know, you, you, it's much better to see, uh, as I keep repeating, an influx of, of solid orders that create nice, strong candles like this, you know, um, an efficiently traded price. So in terms of where we're going now, you know, uh, I, I did make a mention of 92. Uh, if we just drop down to... I just dropped down to the hourly. Uh, we are sitting right in the middle of this big, strong down candle, okay, which is inefficiently traded, you know. So as price goes up, there's a lot of imbalances through this candle. Um, so I would expect that price is going to start to slowly eat into that and continue, you know. Uh, and then in terms of up upside, you know, the first place, which is the most logical place for price to go, would be, and this is sell side, so we'll make it red, you know, is up here. Uh, 92 and uh, 92 to 96 and again i made a mention of this in the telegram group so this is where i'm expecting price is going to go you know many people will look at this and, and say well you're stating the obvious it's obvious we're going to go to all-time high you know um but not it's not always so obvious you know you think it is but it's not always so obvious because sometimes you know you get moves like this and you think wow you know this this is going to go for all-time high and then it doesn't you get a reversal you know, uh, and price tanks and comes and takes that liquidity down here. I've seen it. I've been in it. I've been in projects and I've been in stocks that I've done that, Forex that's done that, you know, so, yeah, and I'm not saying it's going to happen with this at all, but I'm just saying slow, steady increase. Okay. None of this craziness. That's not what we want to see, you know, so um, I like to track every flow on the way up. Yeah. On all the time frames, four hour, hourly, you know, 15 minute. Uh, not as not as much on the five minute, but I like to go down the time frame so I can see all of this and how it's all broken up into you know its component parts on the way up, and you can see this is beautiful. Yeah, nice move, steady, little bit of a move, steady, bit of a move, steady. You know, and you can see even even there as it started to accelerate, it worked it off a little bit. Pause, pause, pause. Then you get that next round, nice consolidation, nice consolidation. Now we're getting the next round. Okay, and I would expect a little bit more, you know, consolidation, holding the 80, and then we get that continuation to 92, uh, and then hopefully um, all-time high, all right? So with that said, guys, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day, evening, wherever you are in the world, uh, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next update. All the best and take care.